really need music, but it's kind of nice having that beat. So again, up tall, right, left, right, left, right, left. We always start here. So I like having consistency. And you know exactly what we're doing. Four, three, now pull your elbows. Pull, 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 pull. Nice. Abs are in. Just doing a little warm up. Now elbows are, let's say four and eight. So bottom corners. So they're just a little away from the body, but not parallel to the floor. And the legs are just tap and tap. Right, I'll left, now elbows a little higher. We'll say 8.30 in, what would that be, 3.30. So elbows are slightly below parallel. Chest is lifted. Can we leave the elbows out? Open the arms. Elbows in, out, in, out, in. So you're doing a different uh, tempo with the legs to the arms. Out, in, out, in. I do that on purpose, you know. Leave the arms in, now up, down. Up, down, up, down. Again, your elbows are slightly below parallel. Up, down, up, down. Nice. Abs are up, chest is up. Up, down, up, down. Now drop the arms, keep the legs. So the shoulders are definitely warmed up. I'm feeling them. Sit up in front of your chair, open and close. Open, open. These are not big open, we are warming up. Up tall. That's it. Bump, bump. And again, out, 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 out. My arms are just going. I don't think about them. Right, I left, right, I left. Can you make it a little wider now? Wider, wider. So we're trying to stretch into those muscles and wake them up. Right, I left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Nice job. Abs up, right, left, right, left. I'm going to repeat the right slowly. Open, open, open. Do it again. Open, open, open. Now to the left, slow repeat. Open, open, open. Nice job. Four more. Open, open, abs in. Now we're going to keep the same pace, right, left, though. Open, close, open, close. Hips. Do it again, please. Open, close, open, close, open, close. Now glute squeezes right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left. So you're squeezing your tush. Right, left, right, pull your abs. And again, right, left, right, left, four, three, open and close the gate. Right, left, there's your tempo. Heels up front. You notice we haven't done a lot with the arms. Abs are in. And I take a peek up the clock. If you're wondering what I glance up at, I'm watching the clock. Not because I want to hurry up, because I have time. Abs are in. Open and close the gate. Open, 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 open. Squeeze your glutes, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Pull your abs. Do it again, please. Right, left, right, left. Heel taps out front, right, left, 
Right, left, nice. So you're just go to a bouncing heel, right here. Bounce, up tall, abs are in. This is all about pulling back. Now if it's too much to remember everything, it's okay, you can stop your heels. Up tall, find your belly. So my hands are about four to six inches above my heel, or my knees, pull back, pull. Push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Keep your elbows nice and tight to the body. Can you feel your armpits squeezing? Squeeze your armpits, that's the best way I can describe it. It's tightening your chest. Back muscles, chest muscles. Back, chest, pull, push, pull, push. Do it again. Pull, push, pull, push. Nice job. Four, three, two, one more. Rest your arms. So everything's resting for just a second. We're gonna do the same concept, but elbows are going to be in this direction so they're not close to you, they're out here. So we'll start with the pull. Ready, pull. Pull, push, keep your elbows out. So when you pull back, squeeze your blades. Squeeze your blades, squeeze your chest. Blades, chest, blades, chest. Pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Abs are in. Pull, push, pull, pull, push. That's it. Find your abs, draw them up and in. Pull, push, pull, push. Good job. Four more. Four. Push. Three. Push. Two. Last push. Bounce your heels just for circulation. Let your arms drop. So you should be able to feel in your armpit area, around your chest, and your back, upper back. All right, so you have a heavy load on your hands, right? You're serving the tray, but the elbows need to be forward. So I just wanted to show you, right? See how the elbows are in front of me? Not to the side, to the front. So we're just gonna push up. Push, drop, push, drop. The elbows stay floating in front of you. Up, down. You should feel shoulders, seriously. Now we're gonna flip the arms out, ready? Out, out, out. Ready, press up. One, drop, two, drop, three. Can you feel your triceps? Up, down, up, two more. One more, press out. Out, in, out, in, out, in. Last four, I promise, I know. Four, three, two, one more. And drop the arms, oof, right? So keeping them in front, bunch your heels, tightens your chest muscles up, first of all. And because of the angle we're working, it gets this tricep, and then you have some fatigue going on beside your shoulder. We're gonna take your right hand, push across. That's the concept. To your other knee, to your knee, to your knee. I want you to focus on the right chest. Push, push. So if you're not sure if you're working, just put your hand up on your right side of your chest, right in front of your shoulder, set over and back, over, and you can feel these muscles firing up. And all we're doing is touching knee to knee. Not allowing the shoulders to go anywhere. Back and forth, back and forth, and your abs are drawing up and in. Four, three, we're gonna switch, here we go. Over, back, over, back. So that left hand, palm faces to the right, and I'm just taking my pinky and touching my knee. 
touch your knee, touch your knee. And again, if you're not sure, put your hand on your left chest and you can feel it fire up. Abs are in. Over and back. Over and back. Pull your navel in. Do it again. Over and back. Over and back. Nice. Now we're going to switch again. So instead of touching your knees, can you go here? Right shoulder level. Or slightly below. Over. Back. And again, if you put your hand on the right side of your chest, you can feel those muscles engage. But now we're including that shoulder. Over and back. Abs are up. And because we're only doing one arm, I can focus a little better. Bump, bump. Now switch. Over, back. Push. Push through the palm, pull through the knuckles. And again, not sure? Put your hand on the left side of your chest. You can feel those pec muscles firing up. And the deltoids. Pull your abs in. And rest. Drop your arms. Shake them out. Palms are up. And then I want my thumbs to go diagonal. Can you see that? I'm trying to find a good spot. I hope you can see this. See my hands? They're at a diagonal. They're not parallel to each other, and they're not up. They're diagonal. By the way, my fingers are closed and squeezing together. So right here. Up. Up and across. That's it. Up and across. Up and across. And again, we're getting pec muscles. Abs up. Up and across. Up and across. That's it. And to the left, up and across, up and across, abs in, up and across, that's it, up, drop, up, drop, now alternate right, left, here we are, right, down, left, down, squeeze your chest, squeeze your chest, squeeze your fingers together, reach through your fingertips, push up and across, Eight more. Eight. Drop. Seven. Drop. Six. Drop. Five. Drop. Four. Drop. Three. Drop. Two. One more. Rest. Right? Shake them out. And so this aspect, right, all of this of your chest was working. Bounce your heels. Pull your abs in. Chest is up. Going back to the legs. Ready, tap your heels out. Right, left. Right, left. Nice job. So we're going to keep this all lifted. Now, take them to the corners. A corner, a corner, a corner, a corner. Nice job. Everything is pulled in. Right, left, right, left. Excellent job. Keep it. So obviously we're hitting a different angle now. Now knees up front. Up, 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 up. Four, three. Corner, corner heels. Out, 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 out. And again, arms are doing whatever they need to do. I'm not worried about it. Knees up front, right, left, right, left, four, three, corner, corner heels, out, out. So the reason why we're changing patterns so much, make the brain work, make that reaction time a little quicker. Four, three, here you go, knees forward, up, 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 four, Three, heels corners. So when we can get where we recognize pattern work, it makes it easier. Your brain's firing up quicker. Four, a three, knees up, here we are. Up, 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 up. Four, three, give me a kick out. Kick through the chest. 
toe, through the toe, through the toe. Kick, kick, do it again, let's go. Kick, kick, abs up. Four, three, heel to corners. Corner, corner, nice job. Four, uh, three, now knees up. Up, 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 up. Four, three, ready, kick out. Kick, kick, abs are engaged, come on. You can do it, you can do it. Heels corners, don't forget to breathe. If you ever need to stop and grab a quick drink, please do so. Knees up. Up, 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 up. Four, three, kick it out. Kick, kick, nice job. We're almost there. Four, three, ready? Heels corners. Out, out, out. Pull your abs. Go four, go three. Knees up. Up, 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 up. Four, three. Kick out. Kick, 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 kick. Four, three. Heel tap out front. Out, out. Nice job. Pull your navel in. We're getting ready to go back to those arms. Or upper body work, I should say. All right. So if you need a quick drink, please grab it now, right? Because I get busy and, you know, I don't think about things. I'm like going, oh, we need to do this next. All right, so I'm sitting in the back of the chair. I'm all the way back, but I'm not leaning back, right? This is what I look like leaning back. It looks like I'm looking up. So I want to bring my body off the back of the chair. I want to engage my core muscles. So I want you to feel your backside in the chair. I want you to feel your legs in the chair. Everything's good. Lift your chest. I want you to think about your rib cage. This part of your rib cage, where the seam of your shirt is. Can you push the right side? Hold on, let me go back. Your booty, it stays in the seat. There's never a time that it's going to lift. I'm not gonna look like the teapot concept, right? Feet are on the floor, hips are in the chair. I wanna take the right side of my body and reach. So you can see the back of the chair peeking out, the back of it. Now I'm gonna take the left side and take it over, take it over, take it over. And you see the chair peeking out again. My hip is in the chair, right, left, right, left. So I wanna keep my arms and shoulders parallel to the floor. Left, that's it, right. Left, nice job. Crunch it and crunch. Right and left. Right? So we're adding some flexibility and strength training in the core. Right, nice job. Left. Do it again. Right. Left. Right. And you should feel the crunches. Can we pick them up? Ready? Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Nice. Now they're smaller. Pull your belly, you gotta keep it tight. Right, left, right, left. Oh my. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop your arms, rest. And just because our arms are up, you can feel this working. If it's too much on your shoulders, you can always hold your biceps and keep them at your chest. It works exactly the same. What I'm trying to avoid is the dumping action, right? We don't want to dump. We want them to go side to side. All right, so we're going to take the rib cage. I think you want to turn sideways so you can see better. So again, I'm off the chair. Hands on your knees. Abs are in. I want to go touch the chair. Lift your chest. Back, up, back, up. 
back, up, down, up, down, up. So I'm touching my mid back, low back on the chair and coming up. Keep your abs in. Drop, up. You should feel some belly muscles. Down, it's a trick. It's all belly. And up, down, and up. And again, if it's too much on your arms, just put your hands on your thighs. It's all right. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Abs are in. We're just practicing. Down and up. Down and up. One more. Now I'm going to flip the chair back. All right. So you have an idea of what we're doing. Side. Side. Back. And up. That's a, that's a series, right? Everything's lifted. Ready? Here we go. Go side. Side. Back. And up. Let's do it again. Ready? Right. Left. Back. And up. Again. Right. Left. Back. Can we pick it up? Right, left, back, up. Right, left, back, up. Right, left, back, up. Right, and back, and lift. Side, side, back, front. Side, side, back. As in, side, side, back, lift, side. Side, back, do it again. Side, side, back, up. Side, side, back, and again. Side, side, back, up. And rest. So you should be able to feel these muscles around the midsection, all the way into your back. Not just your belly, right? All the way around, that's the concept. All right, so we're gonna, Oh, back to the legs. Front of the chair. Right, left. I know. It feels like we just got done with it. So I'm working chunks of your body, not all at once. All right, so what haven't we done? I know. Take them out, corners. Corner, corner. Make sure you're in the chair. And again, whenever you need a drink, please grab a drink and keep breathing. We have this habit of holding the breath, right? Hold the breath, we fall down. Not a good concept. Pull your belly in. Now we're gonna repeat right, but slow. Ready? Out, out, out. Nice, out. Abs up, out. So right now my toes at 12. Can we take it over? Turn it out. Turn it out. So you're gonna get some range of motion in the hip. Turn it out. Turn it out. One more. Left, 12 o'clock of the toe, straight up. So I'm getting a stretch in my calf as I just scratch myself. Now, it takes balance, I'm telling you. Out, out, and again, we're gonna toe out. I believe that would be like 10 o'clock, toe out. Rotate that hip joint. So you have to be at the front of the chair. Out, 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 one. Now it feels corner, corner, straight up toes. Out, 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 sorry, tempo, my fault. Do it again, chest is up, Abs are engaged. No arms. We're gonna toe out. Ready? Here we go. Out, out, out. So we can see outside of my heel touching the floor. Excellent job. Out, out, out. And again, we're getting a little stretch and a little work. Don't worry, we'll have a lot of work in just a minute. We like working in our thighs. Yes, yes we do. Out, 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 out. Four, three. Now hold the 
right leg out, hold. So make sure your toes turned out. So we don't want it at 12, we want it out. And you can see the inside aspect of my shoe. Chest up. So we're going to try and slide the floor to our left foot. Slide and out. Slide, out. Slide in, slide out. In and out. Because I don't slide very well with tennis shoes on a wood floor because they grip, I have to pick up just slightly and I can feel this inner thigh working. That's the whole idea. Let's do it again. Out, in, out, in. Nice job. Out, in, out, bring it in. Ready, heels, heel. Heel, we gotta get the legs moving just a little bit. Abs are up. And again, out and out, out and out. Lovely job today. Out, out, out. Nice. Out, out. Y'all are rocking it. I like it. Four, three. Leave the left leg out. Out. So again, make sure you're in the chair well. If you need to hold on, please do so, it's okay. Remember, the, to blah, 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 blah. the toe is not at 12, it's over. I believe that would be 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, whatever you can do. But we wanna have a stretch, right? So these muscles are opening up. So again, we're gonna slide to the right. Ready, here we go. In and out, in. And out, in, and out, in. And again, it's the outside aspect of my heel on the left that's sliding the floor. Or actually kind of sliding the floor, a little hover too, because I can feel these muscles working. In, out. Why do we need these muscles strong? Getting in and out of cars, first of all. And you gotta pick those legs up and they get heavy sometimes. In, out, nice job. In, out, let's do four more because it's time to switch again. Oh my, three, two, last one. Bring it in. Whew. So that should have, uh, your hips, your adductors, right? Adductors, ADD, right? are your inner thighs, it brings your legs together. Abductors, ABD, B as a boy, takes the legs away, right? Your outer thighs. So if I ever say those words, I will be saying them more often because I, I think it's important for us to learn, right? All right, so we're going back to the upper body. I'm at the front edge of my chair and I'm going to roll back. I'm going to go ahead and do my crunch, right? And I want to keep my crunch. So I'm pulling my pelvic floor up so I can feel my abdominals. My inner thighs are active. My feet are definitely pushing into the floor because I don't want to slide out of the chair. That's just the way it works. Palms are forward. Now bend your elbows just slightly. We're gonna scoop that baby up and rock it right back down. Again, scoop up and pull back through the elbows. Up and down, nice job. Up and down, squeeze your abs as tight as you can. And down, so we're gonna exhale up, ready? Take a breath. Exhale, scoop up, inhale down. Blow out as you scoop up and pull down, nice job. Scoop up, pull down, excellent job. Scoop, pull, scoop, pull, scoop, pull. One more. Scoop, and relax the arms. So that you should be able to feel some bicep into your delt, into your chest. 
So we're going to take the, so we have the palms forward. Can you turn back just a little more? Right? So they're facing the ceiling and they're out. And you notice they're at five and seven. We're only going to go about here, three and nine. So again, give me the crunch. Ready? Here we go. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep your shoulders engaged. Up, down. So you should feel your torso and your biceps and your forearms. And we're not doing much of anything. We're just flapping our wings between, we'll say, five and seven and almost three and nine. My elbows don't make it up all the way. Up, down, squeeze your inner thighs, find your abs. We have eight more, we're stretching. Eight, seven, six. Oh my, you're starting to feel these, yes? Keep your shoulders down. Four more. Three, two, one more. Drop your arms. All the way across the top. And because their shoulders are locked in, your back is working as well, and so is your core. We're gonna place your left ankle on your right knee. Let the knee drop. So you feel the rotation in your hip. Can you place your hands behind your head? Ah, oh, look, you're relaxing. Perfect. Now lift your chest. Shoulder blades come together. Open your chest. Come down around your body, take those hands forward, reach, and just come hang out over your leg. Feel the back side of your body stretch, it feels awesome. And up, we're gonna place that left foot back on the floor. Right ankle, left knee. Again, this right hip joint, just let this leg feel heavy, let it stretch. So we have a hard time when we think there's going to be pain and we hold on to those muscles and that knee stays high and it never actually stretches, right? So if I hold on to my leg and ease it down, right? And I go to where it stretches and not pain, I can relax everything a little bit more and then it feels better, right? That's kind of the whole concept, relaxing the muscles to allow the stretch to happen. Hands behind your head, elbows out. Now lift your chin up to the ceiling, press your chest up, bring your shoulder blades together. So we're opening up the chest. Now reach those hands forward, reach all the way, and just put them on your leg. And I'm very rounded. I'm trying to tie myself into a nice little ball. Stretching my shoulder blades apart. Stretching my spine, dropping my chin towards my chest. My abs are still engaged, because I don't want to fall out of the chair still. And again, roll back, foot on the floor, palms, face each other, now open the arms. I want you to reach towards the floor. Now, watch my hands, I'm going to flex them. So my palms are pushing towards the floor and I have a big nervy stretch in my forearms and through my fingertips. That's an awesome thing to have. And again, we're going to round the scoop up, hands on your knees, tuck your chin. So we're stretching into the back again. Your belly's caved in. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Elbow, elbow, flat back here. Keep your chin up for me. So it's not that I want you to look forward because it's hard on your neck. I'm gazing out on the floor. 
Pull your navel in. Can you take that left arm and reach over a little more? So you're stretching the left side of your body. You still have a flat back, you're just rounding that uh, left shoulder just a tad bit. Push your hips into the chair, don't let them come up with you. And release, go to the other side. And again, we start here. Nice flat back, my, everything's lifted, right? So we're gonna just take that right arm and reach. And it rounds my shoulder, but my back stays flat. My hip, my right hip is in the chair. And bring it back center. So flat back, but I want you to drop your chin towards your chest. Release the neck muscles. And slowly roll up. Hands on your knees, roll all the way up. So we kind of head out of that one slow because it messes with your blood pressure just a little bit. So we have to get things regulated. Sit back in your chair. I want you to lean back on your chair. Relax your back muscles. Let your arms just hang, hang out in your lap. It should feel good just to let go and relax. Go ahead and drop your chin toward your chest. Release your neck muscles. Release the muscles in the top of your back. And roll up. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Nothing else moves. Just get to hang out and relax. Bring it up. Switch. And you would think as much as I've stretched every single day with classes, I would be super limber. It didn't happen. Come up. Turn your head slowly right and left like you're saying no. Make sure you go to where you can find a stretch. We have this habit of getting just enough and then we stop. And we need to kind of uh, push a little bit. Right, left, come back to neutral. Drop your chin to your chest again. Come up, right ear to right shoulder. Up and switch. Tight, tight, tight. Come up, here we go, right, left. Rotate, rotate, nice. We're almost done, I promise. We have one more round. Come to the front, <clears throat> excuse me, drop your chin. I am allowing my head to feel super heavy because I can feel the stretch a little lower than what it was before. And come up, right ear. You're more than welcome to add. Up and switch. And you can see my bad hair today. Oof. So, water today. 
a little extra stretching probably wouldn't hurt because we worked muscle groups today. And because I didn't do all of it all at the same time, you focus a little more, so I'm happy about that. So with that being said, a little extra water. Parkway people, remember I'm on the north side of the building under the carport tomorrow. I do not know what the weather's gonna be like. Um, I'm actually thinking about bringing the speaker to have music tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be kind of fun. Anyway, um, I think that's about the excitement. Have a great day.